I want to talk about gentleness today. Gentleness really is a beautiful thing. You can see that particularly when someone is dealing with a person who is vulnerable or in need in some way, a child, an elderly person, a special needs person, or somebody who's just had a tough break. But the truth is we all appreciate it when other people deal with us gently especially if we happen to be in a hard place. And when people are gentle with us, it really is a blessing. But as beautiful as gentleness is, and as valuable as we may realize it to be at times, there's often not a lot of gentleness in our world. In fact, our world can be a really harsh place an awful lot of the time. We see that especially clearly when it comes to really big and heavy things like wars and, and violence. But the reality is there's an awful lot of harshness every day between ordinary people. And it actually seems like that's gotten worse in the last few years. In fact, a lot of people seem proud of how harsh they are to others, which is really kind of sad. Harshness is a product of our selfish, sinful nature, that part of us that tends to think first about ourselves and most about ourselves and often not very much about what other people need and what's good for them. And that's one of the reasons that gentleness can be so striking in our world because it can be very rare or at least a lot rarer than it ought to be. Well, the scripture in contrast to all of that calls us to be people who practice gentleness. It's one of the fruits of the spirit that Paul mentions in Galatians 5. Jesus um, says, uh, blessed are the meek, and that word meek in the Greek is a form of the word gentle. And in fact, Jesus describes himself as being gentle. And in fact, that comes through in the Bible again and again and again in the way that we see that he treated other people. But I think one of the problems that a lot of people have when it comes to gentleness is they think of it as weakness, and nobody really wants to think of themselves as weak. But that is a misunderstanding really of what gentleness truly is. A better way of thinking of gentleness is that it is having our strength under control. I think a wonderful way to picture uh, gentleness is to picture a big, powerful, muscular man with giant arms, and in those arms he's holding a newborn baby. He's powerful, he's strong, but he's got that strength under control. And really, if you think about it, strength under control, having our strength under control is taking our strength to a whole new level. So why is gentleness so important? Well, because it's about caring for others, especially those in need. It's about doing good and seeking to make this world a better place. It's because we want people to be gentle with us and we don't want to be hypocrites in that way. It's because gentleness is God's call for us and we want to be obedient to God. We want to please God. It's also about our character. It's about us triumphing over that sinful nature and about how God can use that gentleness to shape and to grow us uh, in, more and more into the people that he's called us to be. So let's go and be gentle.